everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Izzy. If you are new, hi. So one of my dearest of friends, she keeps a tracker of how many pages she reads per night. And then at the end of the month, she kind of like tallies up how many pages she reads at the end of the month and just, just kind of like analytical book booky stuff you, you get it and i was like oh that sounds fun i want to do that i lasted a whole three days <laughs> of tracking how many pages i read per day and it wasn't a lot it was like 20 pages here 40 pages here which hey there is nothing wrong with that i just forgot and that was like the more frustrating part is i would keep forgetting to do that but i was just curious how many pages can i read in a week as someone who works a nine to five and also does book content and tries to at least try to get these out frequently. Don't hold me to that. It doesn't look like I do, but I really try. How many pages can I read where I'm not getting sick of reading per, for that day? That's what we're doing. I hope that made sense. It made sense in my brain, so I hope it made sense to you. I'm currently reading The Rom Commerce by Catherine Center. This looks familiar. It's because it's the last book I read in my 24 hour readathon and I never finished it. But I feel like I'm, I'm still wanting to read, so. This is why this video has popped up, so here you go. You're so welcome. I'm on page 132. My goal is to at least hit 100 pages a day, which for me, I feel like 100 pages is either like an hour and a half to two hours of reading. That's what we're doing for this week's video or episode. I don't fucking know. Enjoy. <laughs> This is how I feel. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. Bye. <laughs> Review. Hold on. I just finished The Rom Comers by Catherine Center. How do I feel about this one? I liked it. It was very good. I just love her writing. I really loved the setup of this. I think it was really interesting kind of having this really prolific writer, screenwriter, writer, kind of like have this really trashy rom com setup. And this girl who just loves rom coms, who is also a screenwriter, kind of comes in to basically save this rom-com that's gonna go into the hole and i just loved that setup of like them like writing together i don't think i loved the romance but i don't think i loved charlie that much but overall i thought it was really good i really liked it i think it's gonna be a four stars because even though i didn't like love love our characters i still liked them enough and i thought the plot line itself was really interesting and the writing ugh, the writing was just so so good so i think i'm gonna give it four actually i don't know how many pages that is though i I've read 185 pages today. Actually, I've read a little, I've read more than 185 pages, but for the sake of this video, I've read 185 pages today. I don't know if I'm going to read anything else. The day's almost gone. I don't know. We'll see. I will see you soon. <laughs> Thank you. 
it's either really early in the morning or really late at night. Can you guess which one it is? Y'all, it's really, it's late. It's 10.30. I am gonna start reading Play Along by Liz Tumford. I am so effing excited. I've been meaning to read this, but I just have put it off. You know, like when you're really excited to buy a book instead of immediately reading it because you just have, you just like put it off because you just like, I don't know. I'm excited by it, but I low-key have put this off because I'm just scared. Not, not that I'm not gonna like it, but like, I'm just so excited now to actually read it. I also had listened to about 70, 79% of Defy the Night or re-listen to Defy the Night because I want to read Destroy the Day, but I literally don't remember what happens in Defy the Night or Defend the Dawn. So I'm kind of re-listening to them just so I can get a good refresher. So I'm almost done with that one. I'll probably finish that off tomorrow. Let's read Play Along. <laughs> Defy the Night. And then I also, I started listening to The Secret History by Donna Tartt. I only got like 4% in. It's for another video. The one that I need to talk about because I'm actually reading it. I have been reading Play Along. My camera decided to die. That was so mean. I'm on page 77 of Play Along. Guys, this book is so good. I'm already getting the itch that it's going to be a five star. I'm literally so pumped. <laughs> If you don't know, it's about Isaiah, who is Kai's younger brother, and Kennedy, who is a athletic trainer who works for the Windy City baseball team. And they like cannot fraternize together. They are not allowed to like be even friends or friendly in any way. They both happen to be in Vegas. They get a little drunky wonky and then all of a sudden they get married. Go to the chapel in Go to get married. That's, that was them, but drunky wonky vibes. So it was like, <laughs> they now have to really pretend that they are a real married couple for some circumstances. So it's like a fake dating thing too. I am eating this up already. All I want to do is read this book. That's all I want to do. And I'm so tired, <laughs> but that's all I want to do. I'm going to read for a bit and probably until I fall asleep, honestly. I am so tired today for whatever reason. This is my second Red Bull. To be fair though, my other Red Bull got spilt today. Um, but this is my second Red Bull and I am never drank more than one energy drink. I have just been so unbelievably soiled. I think I just need to go to bed, but that's not here nor there. You don't care. Oh my god, that rhymes. Did that rhyme? No here nor there and you don't care. I am a a poet. Taylor Swift is shocked. Tortured poets department is shook. Anyways, but yeah, that's what I got going so far. I'm going to keep reading play along. I'm supposed to be filming for other videos, but I can't because all I want to do is read play along. But I think that is my American right to read smut right now. Okay, shut up. <laughs> This book is so fucking good. I don't even know what else to say anymore about it. I'm just obsessed with it. Sometimes don't 
absolutely like love love Kennedy because I, I, I understand her as a character and I like her as a character but there's like some things that I wish she would communicate a little bit better with but you know what we are all human and that's just how it is okay as this is like a real person it's not this book is really reminding me of Reckless by Elsie Silver Theo and Winter feel so similar to Isaiah and Kennedy like they feel like almost like the same character a little bit so far I'm f***ing loving it it's so good I'm just obsessed the light is red I'm stopped don't worry okay that's it though uh, but I'm done talking now so okay bye <laughs> So I finished Play Along by Liz Tom Ford. For how much smoke I am blowing up that this book's ass, this is, this is really, this was good. <laughs> this book was so, so good. Isaiah, need him, need him so bad. I also really liked Kennedy. She wasn't like my absolute, absolute favorite, but then she like really got there and I did start to enjoy. Not that I, like, I hated her character. I definitely never hated her character. I really liked her, but towards the end, I started to really, really like her. This banter, so good. So many highlights like normal. I feel like I just highlight the absolute out of Liz Tom Ford's books. The scenes were just so good. I felt like this was also like the perfect length. Felt like I wasn't bored. I feel like I never was. It felt like scenes were getting dragged on. I felt like this was like absolute perfection and I loved, I loved it. It was so freaking good. I'm gonna have to give it five stars. Like if I didn't give it five stars, I would be in the wrong. <laughs> I even think I liked this one better than Caught Up. That's saying a lot because I really liked Caught Up. I think so far my ranking system for the Windy City series is The Right Move, then Play Along, then Caught Up, then Mile High. I'm so excited though because the fifth book is going to be Rio's book. I'm literally so excited. <sighs> need him. Need him like water. Like for real. I'm fucking parched and I need him. Anyways, um, I'm reading for another video, which you will see eventually, hopefully. I'll probably include some of the snippets of me reading this in here as well. If you get any moral though from this video, you gotta read Play Along. You just have to read it. You have to read the Windy City series. I'm putting a gun to your head. I'm putting a finger gun to your head. You have to read it. I, can't, I don't make the rules, but I am. Okay, that's all I got so far. <laughs> I forgot to end this vlog. On Friday, I read, I think like 20 pages because I actually was on a road trip. <laughs> In total, I read 760 pages and listened to 112% of audiobooks. Pretty damn good. Ugh. Hey, I just want to come on here and end the vlog because I never ended it. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you all in the next one.